Hello simps and simpits. Today, I'm going to show you how to remove the default launcher, loading ads, and other bloatware that comes with Nox Emulator. Now as you know, Nox Emulator is one of the best Android emulators out there, but there's a lot of negativity surrounding it due to the antics when it comes to making income off of their free program. I mean, once you open it, that whole window becomes one big ad while it loads. It also does some shady stuff in the background, like passing potentially sensitive information to their servers. So by following this guide, you can stop the majority of this happening. Please be advised that this method only works for one instance only. So if you create another instance of Nox, you'll need to redo part one of this guide. All right, let's get started. In this first part, we'll remove the default Nox launcher plus the gay Facebook light app and the loading screen ads. First is the obvious part, download Nox from the official site. The link is in the description. Please only use that link to download Nox from as there are impersonator sites that will definitely steal your data more than Nox does and use it in a bad way. Unlike the official Nox app that mainly uses it for ads. Now create instance and set your preferred settings. I recommend, it, I recommend using DirectX as that will have the best performance in games. Now we launch Nox and the first thing to do is click the gear icon at the top right and under startup items, check the root option. You can also uncheck this option to remove some pop-ups. Now restart the emulator and install Root Explorer from JRomy Apps on the Play Store. Next, install whatever launcher you want to replace the Nox launcher with. In this tutorial, I'll be using Nova Launcher. Now open the root explorer and grant it super user access. Go to the root directory and go to system, app, and look for the folder named launcher. This is where the crappy Nox launcher is at. Delete it and go back to the root directory and go to data, app, and look for the folder with your launcher icon. Copy all the contents in that folder and go back to the folder where the Nox launcher was and paste your launcher contents there. Now, if you want to delete the Facebook light app, you can just delete its folder in the same directory that the Nox launcher was at. Now you've debloated Nox from the launcher ads and the useless Facebook app. Now I will show you how to remove the loading screen ads that come up when you launch Nox. First, open File Explorer on your PC and go to this directory. There you will see a file named ads. Just delete it and create a new file with the same name but change its properties to read only. Now, there will be no more ads when you start Nox. Now that we deep loaded Nox from all the ads, we can now start to block all the shady servers that Nox connects to when you're using the program. So after you deep loaded, just close Nox and open Notepad as administrator and go to this file directory and open the file called hosts. Now go to the pastebin link I provided in the description below and copy that whole list from it and paste it down below in the host files right here. After that, just reboot your PC and then your PC won't connect to those servers that Nox wants to. Um, I will keep updating this paste link with new domains that Nox connects to. So check on it from time to time also, please be advised that after you do this, you won't be able to connect to Nox's official website. So if you want to stay up to date with Nox's latest version, you'll need to delete all the lines that you've added in the host files and reboot to update Nox. Now you successfully deep loaded Nox from all its shady features and crappy apps. Thanks for watching and have a great day.